old murder John having problems starting lately. Found out it's my fuel pump again. This is the third one I've put on it. So today we're getting rid of this all together. We're going to wire in an electric fuel pump. That way we can get rid of all the problems with it and just an end all solution for it. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how I go along with this and blah. First thing we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to wire up a relay. So this is the relay we're going to use. I have a spot here. Uh, this relay, I think last time I checked it, it didn't work. So we're just going to take this one out and hope we can use that spot. So let's go ahead and take that out. So all we have to do is push this out. And then it'll slide into our new relay. Okay, so found it was easier just to hold with some pliers and just pull it tight. And we just slide it out. Screwdriver underneath it. Alright, so we're not going to use this rip wire in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, you see a little notch right there. That's where the tab is that locks them in. I'm just going to straighten that out so we can pull it out. So, this yellow wire, that's number 87 on the relay. That's going to go to our fuel pump. This blue wire is number 30. That's going to go to the battery. This black one goes to the ground. That's number 85. The white one is 86. And we're going to connect this to the ignition. So when the ignition turns on, we have juice here. soldered and sealed. Alright, so we're going to find which wire is um, ignition on. So I'm going to, I believe it's this one here. So we're going to put that in there. I'm just going to touch the battery terminal over here with the other lead. Alright, so both our leads are now connected and we'll turn the ignition on. Alright, so this yellow wire right here is going to be our um, relay trigger. Now if it was that easy to find where it goes, that would be great. Alright, so it goes into this loom right here so I guess we'll dissect that to find it
right, so the relay, have my ignition switch. I probably should have made that longer. This wire, I need to connect to the fuel pump. I got the battery wire, the power hooked up. I got an inline fuse with it. And the ground is looped over here. Okay, so I decided to mount my fuel pump on this side due to the modification and exhaust on the other side. It's not a good idea to put it over there. So all I have to do is run my hot and ground over here and then plumb it up. So the nice thing is the carburetor is at least on this side. So I'll just have to go from here down to here and then from here back to the, the tank. So let's get this wiring buttoned up and then we'll work on running the hose. To get to my fuel line, I'm going to drop my tank. So I got one here and two more bolts here. Okay, so this one's out, these two nuts are out. I gotta loosen the gas cap. I gotta let the tank drop. But a long time ago, I made a cheat. Forgot about that. I couldn't drop my tank because before I lifted it, and it was my regular riding mower. I uh, welded on a hitch that got on the way, but after we lifted it, we were able to incorporate a tongue right into the, the rear lift of the frame. Anyways, so we need to get up here and take this off, take this hose off, and rerun it. I got a new hose to go on the other side. All right, so I got my new. Hose put in. I'll take this old hose out and put this back up and continue to move it forward. Okay, I got the hose ran to the fuel pump. Now I just gotta do this last little bit. Put some wire loom over this later. First, we got to make sure it's going to work. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We're going to turn the key to on. Listen for it and see if we got fuel and see if it leaks. Here we go. All right, now we're dry up top. Well, if that's not the most beautiful thing on this track here, I don't know what is. Alright, give me a minute to clear a spot and we'll fire it up.
fuel pump on, fuel filter, and I went ahead and added a regulator. And it's supposed to go to one, but I don't go to one, but it seems to be okay where it's at. Um, yeah, she finally fires up all on her own and runs good. Well, her engine sure do run nice. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe. We'll have more content soon.